Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Dropbox transfer feature. And what that'll do is it, it allows you to send a group of files to other people and that way they could just download them directly and they don't need to have their Dropbox account linked to yours and you don't have to share files with them and so on. I'll just let them just download them right on the spot there. So to begin, you want to go up to your little menu item, little nine dots here, click on transfer, and then create a transfer. And now you could either upload files and folders, or you could add from existing files in Dropbox. So I'll just add some files that I already have here. So I have these three files on my hard drive. Okay, so now we have these, and you could remove them. And you could, if you want to go to the settings here, you could set an expiration. If we get these advertisements out of the way there. Uh, set an expiration on the transfer, or if you want to add a password, which you have to upgrade to do that. And then you have a notification thing, so it's to let you know if someone downloads the file. And so once everything looks good, you could uh, send some email, add some email addresses in here. So we're going to do this person who has a Dropbox account, and then this person who doesn't have a Dropbox account. And then you can send a message here. And then click on Send Transfer. So and then it creates, it puts the files together, and then it's going to send it out. And then you could copy a link to the transfer or send it to other people and so on, or you could view your files. Okay, so now we're going to go to this user here. So she has a Dropbox account. So got the email about the transfer. So Todd sent you some files to download. Click on the email and then you can click on download files. Click on start your transfer. Actually it's already doing it right there for you. And you can see it puts it in a zip file. And then you just have the three files there. You just have to unzip the zip file, you know, just like you normally would. You just right click on it and extract it, extract all. And there you have your uh, transfers file mm -hmm. with your files within it there. And so you get the little message notification from Dropbox. And then if we go to the user who doesn't have a Dropbox account, same thing. We'll get the same email and they could download them as well. So this just to show you that you don't need a Dropbox account to use this. So it's pretty simple. So once again, just you could actually go back to view your transfers if you want. So here's active and then you have expired. If you have some that you set to expire, it'll show up there. So you can see there's two views and two downloads. And then once again, you could delete the transfer or copy the link. If you just want to send somebody a link rather than an email, let's say you have a, an extra person that you forgot to send it to, you could just copy the link, email them the link, and then they'll get that same download option and be able to uh, keep your files. So once again, just go to the menu here, transfer, and then, you know, create a transfer and then send it off and you'll be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.